festa appena cominciata è già finita. Abbiamo il clay. Bag is lost. I have a t-shirt, a ukulele, and the clothes on my bag. I think we're good to go, right? We fly into Rome, then take a bus up to our villa in Arezzo. Good morning vlog. Welcome to our little room. As you can see, we've already made it our home. The views, they're okay. Salute. Salute. We're on a homework assignment from Dr. Jones. We're studying Guido di Arezzo. He's the guy who basically invented like written music. Like he put lines on paper for people to learn music. This is the steeple in which he did most of his research. Crazy, right? As it turns out, Arezzo has some pretty killer shopping, specifically this insane shoe store called Sugar. Not my toes and these, half the population no. will be gone. That's just wrong. No. Hey, vlog. Ciao. Taking that hike all the way up to our villa. It's amazing coming up from Arezzo because you go from this urban center all the way up to this like lush, verdant abode. And it's so unbelievably quiet, except for the car that just ran by. Later. Last time I checked in on the luggage, it was nowhere to be found. Turns out they left it in Atlanta. They sent it in on a flight Monday night, and then it sat around at the airport. And then Tuesday, we said, bring it here. And so today, they finally started shipping it to the villa uh, from the airport in Rome. And today, we got the comically awful news that the truck that was bringing the luggage here broke down on the way, so I won't even have it till tomorrow morning. Isn't that great? After class, a few of us take a train down to a little town called Orvieto. First off, there are cats, like, everywhere. Pretty sure they own the place. On journo! Como se dice, run me my coins, Delta. Um, finally got the bag Thursday. I checked it Sunday. It's like damp. It landed in some thick freakness. There's like stains, question mark, and these are like wet. Hey, sleepyhead, good morning. Good morning, sir. It's time to get up. We've got a big day. We walked to Cantina San Fabiano, a winery owned by some Tuscan duke who lives in a palace right there. We learned about the winemaking process, toured the facilities, and tried three different amazing bottles, along with their homemade extra virgin olive oil. Then we saunter back home through the vineyards. Ciao vlog. So I was gonna stay in tonight, but then we went out. We ambled around for a bit aimlessly and then ran into these students from Oklahoma University. They took us to this underground bar and that's where we are now and who knows what's in store. As it turns out, there was a whole lot in store. But let's keep that a secret between you and I, okay? We're walking? No, 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 no. We're, we're taking buses. It took us three different buses and over two hours to get to Cortona, a town that's all the way over here. We were going to hike up to a castle, but a local warned us against it, so Julia and I wandered around for a bit, then we walked all the way back down, got lost, got lost again, and finally found the train station and went back home to Arezzo. On Sunday, we took the travel into our own hands, taking a three-hour bullet train to Verona. This is the most bizarre tourist photo op I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Make your move. Uh, ah, must have been this. 
Let me, let me 